Good evening and welcome to the service of Compline with Iona Hope Episcopal Church in Fort Myers, Florida. It's good to be with you this evening as we offer our prayers to God in thanksgiving for what we have and our prayers of hope and desire for those around us, for ourselves and for our world. And as we just take some time to be with each other and to be with God, it is good to be with you this evening. Uh, we invite your participation in this service fully, whether you're it's live or if you're watching us at a different time. Um, you may, if you wish, download the uh, text of this service. There is a link both on YouTube and Facebook, uh, and you can download the PDF and print it out or read it on your screen, whatever you would like to do. Uh, I will be putting the text up on the screen for us to follow along. So you may do that if you, if you wish. I will be taking the role of the officiant and uh, you will be offering the responses, which typically are by the letter R in italics, or they may be by the term people. We offer this service of uh, Compline at 6.30 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We invite you to join us and invite you to invite others to join us. Uh, whether again live or at a later time when you may want to pray it alone. Now uh, we will begin our service. I will bring um, us up on the screen and we shall begin. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Let us confess our sins to God. Let us pray together. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. Together, glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let us uh, say together both Psalm 91 and Psalm 134. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation. There shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder. You shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet. Because he is bound to me in love, therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him 
and show him my salvation. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and earth. Bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I shall read this uh, verse of scripture, and after you say thanks be to God, we will take a few moments for quiet meditation. When it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where, where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. Let us continue our prayers. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Together, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness that by night as by day, your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I invite your prayers for those on your hearts and minds. Please pray for your families, your friends, your enemies. I ask your prayers tonight, especially for George Floyd and his family, and for Derek Chauvin and his family.
Let us read together until the dismissal. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Let us bless the Lord. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Again, thank you for joining us this evening. We invite you tomorrow on Wednesday to join us at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time as we live stream morning prayer from the church. On Mondays and Fridays, we also live stream noonday prayers at noon Eastern Time. And this coming Sunday, we will live stream our hybrid service of Holy Eucharist at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we have 50 seats in total that are available for reservations for in-person for that service. Uh, if you would like to be a part of that service, uh, I think there may be a few seats left. Uh, if you will send an email to office at ionahope.org, or if you will go to the website at ionahope.org to the service tab for service registrations, uh, we can register you that way. Uh, some folks uh, call the office and that's okay. However, it may not be as efficient since we are often, uh, we're still on uh, limited hours in the office. And when they answer the phones outside the office, they don't. it's not always possible to make quick notes. Uh, so it's better if you would email uh, or go on the website. Uh, but if you need to call, please do so. This being said, uh, it is good to be with you. We bid you a peaceful and restful night and pray that in the morning you arise knowing of God's love in your life. May God be with you.